Space. Final frontier. That's what it's called, right? It's beautiful. Endless. Feel the warmth of the sun millions of kilometers away on my skin without any atmosphere to stand between us. The upside is it's a truly amazing feeling. The downside is I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die floating alone in space? You know, I mean, until now, I'd never been any higher up than the top floor of my apartment building, and I only went up there once. My mistake. It all started yesterday. Ordinary day like, like any other. It is un until I got hit on the head. Ouch! Jeez! That was a three-star impact, Wally. Uh, this one needs some work. Three stars? You sure, Ray? R&D insists that this one be a one-star hothead. One and a half tops. That's some quality hotheads you're testing. You want to trade spots and see for yourself? Three stars. Didn't notice any birds flying around my head, though. Uh, that's something. All right. This one's next. It's a new material R&D wants to try. It says here it's based mostly on... Recycled banana peels and used juice boxes. Say by the bell, huh? Oh, see you tomorrow, buddy. to tell you this, but you actually live all the way to the left. Weird, huh? Hard hat tested. No experience required. Okay, that seemed like such a good idea at the time. This is Gamma 3. We've encountered storm systems too large to go around without delaying landing time. Uh, please advise. Gamma 3? Sean, you told me your name was Jimmy. forget how much jumping is required to get to and from work. Gamma 3 calling base. Please respond. Base, storm now intensifying beyond safety thresholds. Uh, Unusually intense lightning activity observed, attempting to abort, uh, emergency support requested. Wow! Plane made out of paper can't take the heat, huh? Or even a little rain? I bet those eggheads you thought up a paper airplane was a great idea, because it wouldn't be detected by enemy radar. I'm feeling pretty smart right now. Tell me you didn't get them to redesign our parachutes, too. Mayday. Oh, Mayday! The lightning now at level 5 alert. The Omega level package is in danger. Repeat, the Omega level package... Son, I appreciate your concern, but my package isn't... What 
the... W -w where am I? What's this spaghetti arm doing sticking out of my head? Okay, stay calm, Ray. Last thing I remember was leaving work and jumping a lot. And then getting it on the head. Of course! Uh, the hand growing out of my head and this whole crazy world is all a dream. A bottle. Nice work, me. If I know my subconscious, this bottle will have something inside it to help me get off this island. High five me, Ray. High five me, Ray. I give the best high fives, Ray. High five me instead. Ray, you may think you know high fives, but you haven't experienced a high five until you've high five me. Please, please, crazy pin creatures, one at a time. I'll high five Ollie, I promise. Whoa, this arm is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, I'm almost sorry. I'll have to wake up from this. Ray. High five me, Ray. is flooded with elephant juice. And inside are a bunch of gears that aren't moving. Which probably means I'm knocked out and I need to drain the water from my brain. Got it. Help! Help! I can't hold my breath forever! Oh, and there's a creature swimming around in my head. Not sure what to make of that one, honestly. Uh, can you uh, hear me, little guy? Help! Help! Hey, a sticker of a tap. I wonder if it's scratch and sniff. It is. And it smells like a sticker. Neat. A pink elephant pouring water thin. I saved you, crazy alien creature thing. Finally dry at last! But the controls don't work! I need power! If only there was a way to get that heart working again! Yoo-hoo! Heart! Come here, heart! Heart! Come here, girl! I miss you! Weird. My girlfriend lives in Robot Me's heart. And she's calling for a dog named Heart. Dreams are crazy. Oh well. At least I'm not back in high school and also naked in this one. Again.
<laughs> oh, hey there, little guy. Uh, you're Hart, Arlene's dream dog, aren't you? How's it going, Hart? <laughs> oh, there's a good girl. Seas. Bad news, buddy. You're just a figment of my imagination. And this is all a dream. You? Hi. It occurs to me that in real life, skeletons don't talk. Will you do an old sea dog a favor and dream me back to life again? Well, I, I kind of need to lead this dog back to my girlfriend. You've got an arm made of bone, so... I hear you, landlubber. Well, I'd be happy to lend a hand. Oh, <laughs> I just realized how well lend a hand worked back there. That wasn't even on purpose. <laughs> Heart, come. Good girl. Who's a good girl? It's you, Hart. You're the best girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you, Hart. I always knew Eileen was the woman of my dreams. But it's nice to have it confirmed. All the pieces are in place. I was just about to leave, but now I think I'll stay after all. Yes, I'll be able to stay here indefinitely. As long as the host survives. Wait, 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 what? Sir, there's been an incident. An incident? A, a crash, sir. And the subject is missing. Why are you coming to me for instructions? Obviously, I'm going to tell you to find it. It's the most powerful weapon in the universe. Spaghetti! Sp spaghetti in my my hand! You think? <laughs> wow! What a crazy dream! Oh, good thing dreams are stupid and don't mean anything! You're awake! Perfect. That'll be a lot easier than carrying you out. Huh? What will be easier than carrying me out? This. Get out! What? Your insurance doesn't cover head injuries, mister. Get out! Head injury? What? What happened to my head? Hey, hey, quit shoving! Oh, will you just tell me what happened to my head? Hey, 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 easy on the buns! It's just all kinds of itchy. Ah! 
I should just tell it to him straight. Oh, this can't be happening. Ouch! <laughs> Careful, I'll bet you. I'm going to do it So shiny. Become a so ship, they say. Your patron I can't do it without it. Holy crap. What the hell? Okay. Okay. I'm hallucinating. Arms don't grow out of heads. I just gotta get home and sleep this off. It, it's all a hallucination, that, that's all. It's uh, just a hallucination that lets me read minds accurately. Hey, listen, do me a favor. I kinda didn't think this through. Obviously. And I left the handbrake on in the car. Could you disengage it for me? Uh, actually, maybe you can do me a favor instead. I'm looking for a cab ride home and... I got my own problems here. Problems I do not want to talk about. Listen, thanks for nothing. I'm just gonna wait here till somebody else comes and disengages my car. Peace! Maybe... Uh, maybe I can use my hallucination brain arm to read his mind and find out what his problem is. I, I don't know. Oh no, baby. Bring some my brother Target. You just own us. Barbara, if only you hadn't left me for that mafia don with the mad nutty smile. If only my own smile had that sparkle that drives you wild. If only I could take back years of poor dental hygiene. If only I could have you back. Barbara, if only you had... I gotta find a way to help this dude get his lady friend back. Keep it up, Barbara. We'll win this competition for sure. Especially since my biggest challenger had an unfortunate accident. What? Huh? What was that? Sorry, I was kind of lost in your teeth there. I just love your smile, Don. Uh, Don's my position, not my n uh, You know what, uh, Don's fine. Honey, I don't care what you're called as long as you keep showing me those sparkly teeth. Can't stop this dance train. It's been a long strain. Ed, where are you? We've been practicing for weeks, and you promised you wouldn't stand me up. Don't do this to me, Eddie. I am an adult human, and my major criteria in selecting a mate is how shiny their teeth are. I may have made some bad decisions somewhere. However, on the other hand, Ooh, shiny teeth. Inside, Mom. No. Some might say that murdering a man to win a dance competition is sociopathic. <laughs> but is it really sociopathic to only see people as obstacles to be overcome by any means possible? Huh, wait, maybe it is. Maybe. That's actually the textbook symptom of sociopathy. Oh well, too late now. God, 
Nobody to tuck him in at night. Nobody to give him his belly rubs and his teeth scratches. But he's such a gentle soul. He needs me to take care of him. Here, buddy. I've got your favorite treat. Chicken. 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 I'm nature's greatest predator, buddy. And I'm tired of chicken. I got a taste for spice. Special treats, and I ain't coming out for anything except human limbs, baby. Delicious human limbs, so long and crunchy, so full of valuable vitamins and minerals. Buddy, here, buddy. I've got your favorite treat, chicken. This can't be real, can it? I thought we'd be together forever! FOREVER! Oh, I can't believe our relationship is over! <laughs> I hate to see him hurt, but it had to be done, right? It had to be done. Breakups suck, but I still care for him. I just wish everything didn't have to be so sucky. Where are they? Oh, what a kind and noble heart here breaks. <laughs> Mario, is that you? And you brought your little brother, Peachy. I had literally been I, As soon as little Mario could walk, he'd be over every day to say hi to Beatrice. And he, and he was always so excited to see him. He'd bark and bark and bark. Just, just endless, frantic barking from Beatrice. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice to see. I never forget a smell. Those are the jerks that tortured me every day when I was a puppy. Ah, they tied firecrackers to my tail. Gosh darn it. I'd eat them alive if only I had my teeth. I need teeth, darn it. <sighs> it's good to be the big brother. Why did I make this? Oh gosh, Rachel's gonna kill me if I don't make it to the disco competition on time. Only she won't, because I'll already be dead. Because these guys are gonna kill me real soon. This is it, Ed. You're going to be dead soon, and you never went skydiving. You never ate caviar, and you never beat the Silver Surfer game for the NES. You're gonna die with regrets, Edo. Oh, if only I'd spent more time learning how to escape from trunks instead of learning the enemy attack patterns in the Silver Surfer for the NES. Although, honestly, I'm glad I spent so much time playing Silver Surfer for the NES. That game was tight. Hey, what's the big idea? Get any closer and I'll get my brother to beat you up. Understand? Hey. I could take battles in the Silver Surfer for the Typical. I have to do the hard labor while my big brother stands around and smokes. 
Hooray! You got a born 10 seconds earlier! That definitely means you have to never work a day in your life! Oh yes, absolutely! I deserve to be the guy mixing the concrete! Heck, if I didn't want to do that, I would have pushed my way to the front line 30 years ago, right? You were just a few months old at the time. and I'll get my brother to beat you up. Understand? That doesn't work! That won't stick. Ingredient parfait! This meal, it is. Ah, oh, perfection! Perfection! You can really taste this sorrow. <laughs> Unless my good friend Bi Bitey, you came back. Come on, let me hug you for a bit. Laura and the kids will be ecstatic to see you again. They may show it by screaming at us and running away, but that's just their way. Won't stick. That doesn't work. I don't have any sweets for you youngsters at the moment. Beatrice? Is that uh, Beatrice? Where did you get those teeth? Uh, good doggy. Good doggy. Ah! <laughs> Carry me, Luigi. Carry me at that run faster, Luigi. Come by, yeah. Nice. And it's not too late for the competition. How can I ever say thanks? Well, uh, I could use a drive. I've got it. I'll dance for you, and then we can talk about Silver Surfer. Uh, for the NES? Aw, oh, man, I really want to talk about this, but I'm late. Ed, 
did! You made it! Where were you? Locked in a trunk, but this stranger wandered in and helped me out. Uh, it's been a good day for that, I think. Let's dance! An amazing set! First place goes to... Rachel and Ed! For their routine, Rachel's Education in Dance! This is an outrage! I paid good money to ensure my victory! Ugh, I'm so angry, I could swallow my teeth! I could literally swallow my teeth! I'll save you, Don! I'll save you, Don's teeth! Ed, buddy, it's been a long, strange day. But you're ending it in a crazy dance scene. So I think things worked out pretty okay. It's time to shake my bod and chew gum. And actually, I'd much prefer to shake my bod than chew gum. So this is working out well. Don's actually kind of gross. And really old and I've got nothing in common with him he's lost that sparkle somehow my mouth feels lighter like there's, there's fewer teeth in it somehow can't stop this dance train Barbara, if only you hadn't left me for that mafia don with the mad, nutty smile. If only my own smile had that sparkle that drives you wild. If only I could take back years of poor dental hygiene. If only I could have you back. These teeth are so sparkly. They feel good. They feel right! What am I doing here? I need to go show Barbara! Barbara! I'm back! And I got a mouthful to say to you! Bernie? Is that you? You're so... sparkly. Oh, Bernie. Where did we go wrong? We didn't, Barbara. Just forget it. Everything up to now is non-canon. Canonicity starts right now. Hey, thanks for the ride home, Bernie. Thanks for reminding me what's really important. Love. Sparkly teeth. Finally, I'm just a few jumps away from home where I can put all these hallucinatory spaghetti arms and oddly accurate mind reading behind me. Aline, I'm home. I've had the craziest day, honey. Uh, check it out. Think of a number between negative gazillion and infinity plus three. Bet you 50 bucks I can read your mind. Eileen, I know that the arm sticking out of my head looks weird. The what? Uh, the arm sticking out of my head. Uh, I know it looks weird, uh, but... There's no arm sticking out of your head. Ray, are you going nuts on me? Are you dropping insanity balls on the floor? No, I... Oh, I don't think so. You really can't see it? Sweetie, why don't you go see my shrink? Dr. Egglesworth helped me a lot. I'm not afraid of grapes anymore, see? Ah, jeez. Maybe I am crazy. I guess it wouldn't hurt to see Dr. Egglesworth. I believe his office is over here, uh, to the right. Ah, that 
that's him! He's the one who took your sacred thingamabob! I know because he has a stupid haircut! I don't forget a haircut that dumb! Agent 23, reporting in. We may have a positive on our target. Instructions. Get him. Wait, is this real? Am I being chased by these jerks? When I catch Ray, I'm gonna get a free swim for me and a guest. In the company swimming pool, a savings of over $4.95. I saw a haircut that dumb 15 years ago, and it made me the man I am today. Jeez, that was an incredibly dumb haircut. I know, it's just so sad. And it was so sudden, too. I mean, he was 140 years old, but we all kind of assumed he'd live forever at this point, you know? He never died before. I did oh, Dr. Ecclesworth, if only you hadn't taken the death of your father so hard and fallen into deep depression. I'm glad you're seeing Dr. Brom. I'm also glad I'm paid by the hour. Take as long as you need, Dr. Egglesworth. Hey, Dr. Brown. Possibly imaginary suckers. To flirt with paper. I wonder what Brad's making. Oh, I should have known. Thank you, who loves digging six foot deep holes. This is basically the perfect job for me. Except for the constant and omnipresent threat of a spooky hunting. I want to catch. Dagnabbit! I'm dead now! Well, that's an inconvenience for me, but it's not going to shut down my practice. There's still tons of people out there who need lobotomies. Stay away from me with your lobotomies, man. Also, you're not as scary as I was expecting. I'm not scary. I'm a lobotomist. And it's the only way to cure what ails you, Sonny. A few cuts, a few slips, and you won't have a care in the world. When has talking about your issues ever solved anything? Action speaks louder than words, and that action is cutting out brain parts! It's a me. It's a me. As a gentleman who loves digging six foot deep. Of course, this is basically the first. Those guys are snappily dressed. They're probably pretty smart. Maybe... Maybe I should mind read them. That's night eating burritos. <laughs> well, I should have not stayed up all night last night eating burritos. And yet I have no regrets about staying up all night eating burritos. Burrito. Oh, man. What happens if I put this sticker on an agent? <laughs> Sweet! This sticker makes him sleepy. 
Oh, I probably don't have too long until they wake up. Whoa, this is heavy. I've got to get to that psychiatrist stat. Excuse me, uh, doctor? Um, doctors? Dr. Brom, I can't go back to work. I just can't. Dad hated how I practiced my profession, and now that he's gone, we'll never reconcile. There's no closure left for me. I'll never be able to talk to him again. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Sad, I guess. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? The sadness? No, oh, um, like, not happy? Like I have emotions that are making me depressed. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Wait, how does that make you feel? Fine, thank you, but we're here to discuss you. Dang, I gotta help Dr. Egglesworth so that he can help me. I gotta cure his depression stat. If only I could talk to my dad one more time. Get him to understand why I do what I do. I just need one last chat with him. Man, I don't need a psychiatrist. I need a medium. Or at least a necromancer. Wait, necromancers don't really exist, do they? No, I think they're all frauds. Okay, medium it is. Wow, did work get a lot easier when I realized I could ask. And how does that make you feel? To every question! Yes, I have made contact with the spirit of your dear departed wife. I haven't departed anywhere. I can't move in the afterlife because my husband cut off my legs. Jada! Is she here? Can you ask her if she's mad that I cut off her legs? She's saying that she is, um, slightly frustrated by the circumstances. If I could touch him, I'd tear his legs off too! Yeah, definitely sensing some frustration. How amazing it is that ghosts really do exist. And how incredible that they all want to talk with my paying customers. At least this ghost knows our language. I'm so tired of being bothered by caveman ghosts from thousands of years ago. I can't walk into the light or anywhere else for that matter. Either someone needs to find me some legs, or someone needs to kill a wheelchair and send its ghost over my way. After I apologize for cutting off her legs, I should ask her if she knows where I put my rabbit. I haven't seen him for weeks, and rabbits don't just disappear. Oh, wait, no. I made him disappear and then couldn't get him back. Okay, yeah, note to self. Stop by pet store on the way home. Balloons for sale! Balloons for sale! I've taken some of our planet's finite helium supply and put it inside a leaky, disposable balloon. You should buy it! Maybe it'll turn into... I like shapes and colors, especially when those shapes are inflated. Sometimes I wonder if this is really what I was put on this Earth to do. Sometimes I get sad. Some of our planet's finite helium supply and put it inside a leaky, disposable balloon. You should buy it! Oh, 
are right. Round 37. Whoever has the shortest legs gets punched. Again. Ready, Gigator? Ready, Colossus? Ready, little champ? What? No! No! One, two, three, go! Wait, no, wait! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, are they... Hey, Jace! Jace! They're about to pull off the rally scene trampoline trivets maneuver! Ladies and gentlemen, this trick is very difficult to pull off. Let's watch. A complete success and a very painful landing for little champ. Ha! Poetry in motion. Ah, Jace, the greatest show on earth. As long as you don't let yourself feel empathetic for the little guy. Dad, why do you have He's to... Surprised. Normally people say bully like it's a bad thing. But have they tried it? It rules! <laughs> Punches make me feel good! If my legs were longer, I wouldn't get punched. I could run away to freedom. I could follow my dreams of being in library school instead of this degrading show. That doesn't work! I'm afraid of heights. They're not heights once you hit the bottom. Jump, dang it! Dad, I don't want to fall to my death. Please stop hitting my hands. Next time. I'm not bringing the inflatable hammer. That doesn't work. I should have had a daughter instead. A daughter who isn't afraid of heights. And who is a scientist, and a rock star, and a clown. Also, she buys me things. Ah, oh, man, I knew I was going to die today. The fortune cookie was right. Also, that was an extremely creepy fortune cookie. Hmm, wrong sticker. Jump! Jump right now! Come on, we're not that high up! What? What's happening? Help me, son! Dad, uh, I can't. If I uh, let go, I'll die! Help me, please! Dad, I'll die! That doesn't work! Oh great, now I'm gonna die and my dad is a balloon. That second fortune cookie I got was also right. I need to stop eating at Crazy Jack's crazy but insanely accurate fortune cookie restaurant. Amazing what a little going to die today. That doesn't work. Yeah. 
I confess I cannot see the attraction to being fired out of a cannon, but I do see the attraction of being responsible for the safety of those who do choose this path. I like it when the cannon makes the fire come out and I'm inside the explosion. Oh, that was awesome! I think. That was awesome, I think. Mm, wrong sticker. Balloons for sale. That won't stick. Balloon, you should buy it. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Uh, what are we aiming at? How come we're not hitting the usual wall? Right on target, right? <laughs> I kinda... You know, it's not so scary when we're both hanging here together. This is the best trick ever! This is perfect! You're perfect! We'll never do that old trampoline trick again! This blows it out of the water! I'm so happy! I love you, son! You know, that wasn't so bad. I'd sound so scary if you're good at hitting targets. When I'm full of helium and floating, I feel free. As if a great weight has been lifted from my body. I feel my stomach drop as I lift up into the sky, free floating, and I feel alive. Uh, that's gonna come out of my paycheck, I think. A fine display there, chaps. A fine display. I dare say, I fear for your life. This will be quite the sensation in the colonies. That won't stick. Uh, that won't stick. Well, it was worth a shot. Someone, I'm carrying fire in my pocket. Someone, I feel that this is a really excellent idea. Well, it was worth a shot. That 
doesn't work. <laughs> wow, I should have not stayed up all night last night eating burritos. And yet I have no regrets about staying up all night eating burritos. Excuse me. Oh, yes, hello. Well, take a good look. Here I am, the bearded lady. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't that mess with your ideas of gender and beauty? I... I guess? Well, soak it up. Because there's no rebuild. Easiest job in the world. It's amazing what a little super glue, a shaved dog, and a lot of patience can do. One more time, folks. The trampoline triplets maneuver. Put your backs into it, boys. Not a problem. Get ready to have your minds body slammed. Not again. Wait a second. Your legs are tinier than mine. You've been faking this for years, Gigator. Library school, here I come. Oh, our wrestling slash bullying careers. Say, kid, there's an opening in the wrestling area. Hey, you go. Hey, you know, if I could get on the radio, there'd be no way for the audience to know that the triplets aren't here anymore. Folks, the triplets just threw a bad guy wrestler into the moon and then punched him on the nose when he landed. I can't believe my eyes! You should, though. Ah, oh, perfect. Legs out of nowhere. This will definitely be all I need in my eternal afterlife. Goodbye, sweetie. I loved you more than I love even magic itself. Which is too bad, because if I studied magic harder, you wouldn't have died. Okay, I'm glad that's done. So, handsome, how long do you think it'll be before you get back into dating? Oh, I don't know, a few... Minutes? Well, that'd be quite the trick. <laughs> My wife wouldn't want me to grieve for too long, right? She'd probably think it was way cool if I kissed on somebody I just paid money to. I think that's what she would do for sure. It's against my professional code to flirt with patrons. But something about him is just magic. And how 
hold his hat make you feel? I've pulled back the veil between our world and the next one! What? Huh? Are there any spirits with which you would like to speak? Dad, I want to talk to my dad. He looks a little like me, only he's super old. Ghost of the skies, old dad, I command you here. What? Who called me? Dad, it's me. I... I just wanted to talk to you. To make peace about how you love lobotomies, and I love treating people without cutting into their skulls. Son, I... I... I have a mind to lobotomize you right here! You've been losing this argument for years, and now even when I'm dead, you drag me back so you can get one last word in? Of all the selfish, self-interested, totally deserving of a lobotomy actions to do! And another thing, son. I... I love you. Even though we have different approaches, we're both on the same team. We just don't want to see people be sad. You're doing good, son, and I'm proud of you. You know that, right? I do now, Dad. That's my cue. You'll be good, boy. Hooray! At last, an emotional breakthrough. Closure. Huh? What? What happened? What I miss? I talked to my dad. He's a ghost, and we talked, and we worked things out. I can go back to work now. Thank you. <laughs> what? Ghosts? Oh, that's crazy talk. You're crazy. What? No, I'm not crazy. He was a vision from beyond the grave. I'm not crazy. Next. I... I guess that's me. Excellent, excellent. Uh, sit down here. And tell me all about how whatever your issue is makes you feel. Oh, well, I've... I've got this giant spaghetti arm that comes out of my head. And only I can see it. Oh, but it, but it lets me read people's minds. Telepathy, huh? <laughs> Definitely sounds crazy. Ooh, but before I give you my diagnosis, uh, uh, there's one thing I'd like to try. Follow the pendulum. You are getting sleepy. You are about to tell me all your secrets. So dang sleepy. Hey, what are you doing here? This is my hypnotically induced fantasy land. Don't worry. Just behave as you normally would, knowing that I am always with you, watching and silently judging. Ah, sweet. It allows you to do things like this in real life. Yes, I certainly am glad this is how science actually works. Someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay, Sonia. He's with me. Oh, Dr. Brom. Welcome back. What? You've been here before? Please ignore me. Remember? Silently watching, silently judging. Mm, interesting. Normally, admission is free. Yeah, but I don't mind paying it. I mean, that's just my two cents. 
Two cents admission and we only ever get one visitor. I gotta get a better job. I gotta move to somebody rich's head. Welcome to Ray's Fun House. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite them. I'm not even joking. Well? Are you just going to sit here? I thought you were gonna be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. Did I mention to Ray that if he dies in here, he dies in real life? I don't know. Ah, well, I probably did. Maybe if I just had a quick two second long micro nap, I'd feel better. Nope, still sleepy. Ah, oh, these were happy times. I never remembered the pie fight, though. Mm. And how does that make you feel? Uh, okay? Well, this is a waste of a perfectly delicious pie. Yeah, maybe Ray can eat the floor scraps afterwards. This is among my least favorite ways to be served pie. Easily in my bottom 20s, no sweat. So where do we I certainly hope that I'll never find myself in a similar situation to the Lobe Ranger in the future. Yes, indeed. That would certainly be an unexpected and not wholly unironic fate. Maybe if I just had a quick two second long micro nap, I'd feel better. Nope, still sleepy. First love, Peggy McAllister. Now, what do you think she represents? I believe she represents herself uh, in, in this memory. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give me something. Here it comes, my first kiss. I'm finally gonna find out what makes it so much better than holding hands, which I already enjoy quite a lot, thank you. I can do it. Here it comes, my first kiss. I'm finally gonna find out what all the fuss about pushing two sets of lips together is all about. Oh. Our attraction was... Don't say magnetic! Magnetic! Oh, but I never got to kiss her. Oh, by the time I got down from the crane, she moved on to Boris. Indeed. And now, would you say this one event totally shaped your psyche into the person you are today? Nah, man. Boris is great. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray. 
If you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. Is this what kissing is all about? This hurts a lot more than I expected. It's your loss, mister. I was gonna let you hold my hands later. Dang, man! Maybe if I just... Maybe if I just had a quirk. How come running in a man? This is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point, so I tried to impress her with a grape that I'd carry in my pocket at all times for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date? Yep. After this, we were inseparable. It was love. Hmm. Maybe I could argue love as a psychological disorder, inducing irrationality in its subjects and leading to much reduced critical thinking skills. Oh god, grapes! He's gonna put it in his mouth. So nasty! If I never see another grape in a thousand years, it'll be too soon! I can do this! I can do this! Well, the upside is, this was a truly amazing grape. The downside is, I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die trying to impress a woman? I guess a lot of people, actually. It all started a few seconds ago. An ordinary second like any other. Until I tried to catch a grape in my mouth. Oh god, the grape is stuck inside him. This is as far as I go. There's no way I'm gonna reach down in his throat to get that grape out. Giving mouth to mouth to a mouth that just had a grape in it. So gross. But, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, I, I must really like this guy. I'm, I'm in love. In the movies, they make mouth-to-mouth -mouth seem super hot. But as part of CPR, he's pounding my chest hot enough to break ribs. I mean, it's nice, and I like her, but I'd just as soon go on, like, I don't know, a walk. I like dates where I don't end up in hospitals. It's a nice change of pace. Maybe if I just had a quick two second.
Toad, this is Take Your Firstborn to Work Day. An event that twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? Nah, no, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. <laughs> this is way better than attending school. Oh, uh, which is what I am legally supposed to be doing right now. The sum of a square of the length of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the opposite side. Okay. I'm so bad at not dropping hammers on people. How did I even get this job? See, this is why I'm so into hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah. Boring old father issues. Gag me with a spoon. I like to make a poopy. Got to be something less pedestrian here. That sure is making a funny face for some reason. Huh. All right, keep it together. If I can convince him that the hammer fell out of the a passing airplane. Then I'm home free. Hmm, that shouldn't be hard anymore. Picture. Wait, am I real? Wait, is anything real? Huh, where's my copy of Daycode when you need it? Okay, maybe I wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Ah. Oh, if I put this on an agent's face, they'll think he's me. Then all my problems are over? Maybe? Okay, maybe I wasn't clear before. I'm looking <laughs> worked! I'm impressed with myself, especially since it doesn't even look like me that much. I mean, I'm handsomer, right? Okay, okay, see this picture? Imagine there was a man who looked like... The Okay, okay. Any comments on how this makes you feel, huh. Ray? Huh. I'm beginning to feel empowered by how I keep escaping certain death. Listen, you are doing this wrong! How come running in a man's head gets me out of breath? How come? Okay, maybe I wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. 
This is a represent. How come running? How come running in a man's head gets me out of breath? How come running in a man's Dear Mental Diary, today is turning out to be a Ah, a big chess match. Uh, we won? It was all thanks to Timor. Her chess smarts combined with my enthusiasm for whatever chess is made us unstoppable. This was a big moment for us as a couple. Were you breastfed as a child? Uh, doctor? We're here to talk about chess, not feeding babies from someone's chest. Ray, I know you've got a hidden issue, and I know we will unearth it yet. I thought this was a checkers tournament! I'm in way over my head here! Another Darn it, Ray. It's hard to focus when you shout, ooh, sick move, and blow an air horn every time I move a piece. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I can't wait till she makes another sick move! Okay, okay, see this picture? I'm not... Okay, okay, see this pa Rhonda, uh, my first girlfriend. Prom was a great night. Oh, I mean, except for the braces problem. Uh, but like most problems, we solved it by shaving her head. <laughs> uh, high school was a weird time for me. Yes, yes, very interesting. Uh, hey, wait, who is Ted? Ted? I, I, I can't remember Ted. Maybe it, it was the janitor who... Who wanted to be fired? This isn't the magical night I was expecting. I knew I should have shaved my head. Hospital, no way I'm gonna... Uh, this is easily 20% more painful than I imagined. Ah, finally! We're finally here! What's this door? Behind it are my innermost secrets revealed? My deepest, darkest shame? Oh, even better! This is the washroom, Ray. Ah, oh, man! Couldn't you have done that before? I don't want strangers peeing in my brain. Well, it's a little late for that. 
Also, good news, I didn't pee. Oh, man! Now, here's the door with your innermost secrets behind it. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? <laughs> you have a home early? What the heck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in 15 years of practice. Disgusting and highly incurable. This is amazing. Uh, Dr. Richards, please. I'll hold. Bob, it's me, Brom. I've got a bad case heading your way. Yeah, totally incurable. Straight into the rubber room. Yeah, uh, hypnosis, yeah. I'm still inside his head, actually. There's all these robots with their skin to... Yes, I know it's long distance. Bob... I'm good for it. Anyway, uh, we're you going to see you at golf next weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see your putting get out of that spot. Where, where am I? Oh my God, is this an insane asylum? That's crazy. I'm not insane. I've just got crazy stuff around me. Plus the magic hand that lives in my head. Well, maybe I am a little crazy. You need to stay in your cell. <laughs> Nothing interesting ever happened here. You'd think for a loony bean there'd be some excitement, but no. Just walking around a bunch of caged up sad people. I wish something interesting would happen. Just once. Maybe they can't see my extra legs, but they will all soon know my true spider form. <laughs> For I am the Black Widow, and the Black Widow is hungry for men. <laughs> yes, the Black Widow is on the hunt for new flies. Come here, men. Come here, little flies. <laughs> The perfect mate. Well, that went surprisingly well. Now to escape the asylum itself without getting spotted. Huh. You saw him, didn't you? He's haunting me. He's saying such awful things to me. Such awful things. My imaginary friend is my imaginary fiend. My own worst enemy. And I can never be rid of him. You can see him, can't you? Can't you? Can't you get rid of him? But no. Oh, if only I could stop imagining Joe. I could be rid of him. I could be happy again. I could go home to my family. But no. As long as he's here, I'll be here too. Why can't he just leave me alone? Why would I ever imagine of the biggest jerk ever in time in the first place? Oh God, why doesn't my imaginary friend like me? It may be because of you. Look at this guy. He'd maybe be okay if I could get a drink or two into me. Heck, it doesn't even have to be wobbly pop. I'd give me right here for a nice cup of hot steam and tea. Oh, God. A nice cup of would really take me mind off of this jerk. So guess what? My mother hates you, too. You imagine me first thing every morning 
And I ain't stupid. You try to be friends with me, and I would rather hang out with spiders or a rat than you, okay? Got a problem? You ain't my friend. I don't have to tell you anything. I don't like you. Got that, you loser? I hate you. I hate you more than anything in this damned world. Well, boy, I have more things to do right now than talk to you. I hate you. That cat's seen better days. Most of them when it was alive, I'm guessing. Oh, Mr. Whiskers, you're such a pretty kitty. You never meant to leave me, right? That's right, and soon you'll be all stuffed and sewn and ready to stay with me forever. Does Mr. Whiskers want a mousy to play with? He does. Well, then Mama will have to find one for you. Yes, she will. Me. Wow, her praise would mean a lot more to me if it wasn't so consistent and all-encompassing. Am I the first cat to get depressed from being praised too much? Is that in and of itself depressing? At least if I were alive, I could wish for the sweet release of death. Oh well, I guess I am pretty pretty. <laughs> Excuse me, um, uh, are you guys crazy too, or, or do you, like, work here? I, I mean, do you work here and also you're sane? Dr. Crank, his eyes, they look into my very soul. I never want to see those eyes again. I will totally freak out if I see those eyes again. Uh, this is Ralph. And I'm a... helmet? A tea party! Ah, uh, don't they get it? Dr. Crank has nutty mad eyes! If I see them, I'll hyperventilate, sending all sorts of air out of my body! I'm not joking, self. I'll do it! I'm... helmet? I'm pretty sure I'm helmet. Wait, do we get breaks for lunch? I feel like we should have had a break for lunch at some point. That was great. We have to practice. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Feels great. Feels amazing. I want more of this juice. Juice me up, baby. No, I don't think I'm cured yet. Another? Oh, yeah. Burn. Burn fire. Burn. Uh, 
burn fire, fire burn, burn fire, fire combustibles, burn, burn, burn it so, them creations, burn, burn rapid oxidation, burn, burn fire. That won't stick. Well, maybe this one. This is the second worst room I've ever been in. That won't stick. For you created. Uh, that won't stick. Exist. After you're gone. I don't This job is satisfied. I'm a piece of cheese. I'm a piece of cheese. I'm um, a... cheese does not talk. Oops. I'm a piece of cheese. You better take it from me. I'm the best tasting hunk of cheese you ever gonna see. All the little mousies wanna get all up on me. And all the little mold force best check it and see. Ain't no more than this. Firm yet yielding. Cheese and butter. I'm the big cheese. Yo, no more repartee. the stars. Uh, uh, hello there? Hello there, young man. Can you help me? I'm from outer space, and I'd like to return, but I need my inflatable space duck back to return to the stars. To my planet. To my people. You're an alien? Yes, of course. Oh, I see why you're confused. I'm an alien, but I'm wearing a human suit. Only the zipper got stuck and now I can't take it off. Life's funny, huh? Uh, yeah. Huh? Huh? You'll help me, won't you? You don't think I'm crazy, do you? Uh, I make it a policy not to lie to old ladies. So all I will say is, um, have a good one? Only it's not... Why, young man, you're trying to read my thoughts. On my planet, you at least ask a lady first. But you're not doing this on purpose, are you? There's something else in there helping you. It has a name. Red, Jed, Ted. Hello, Ted. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Well, it was worth a shot. That doesn't work. Five years of university and 20 years of student loans. For this, thanks, economic forces entirely beyond my control. Okay, you've got to get the sleepiness under control. Wake up! Think exciting thoughts. Imagine skydiving. That's exciting skydiving into a nice warm bed. 
Oh no, I'm sleepy again! I want to see you dance. Let's see you shake your booty in your pants. If you want to move to music, then I guess here's your chance. Yo, baby, you know I want to see you dance. <laughs> phase variants to the primary biofilm. Yes, the primary biofilm emitters should be able to be modified to- Bro, dude, can't you just like chill for one minute? I wanna get freaky! Note to self, it appears my split personality syndrome seems to be reasserting itself. Self-diagnosis is- Darn right I'm reasserting myself! Dude, we've been working on this problem for hours! Let's party, man! Let's dance! I'm afraid dancing is out of the question. But if you submit a request form 55 Dude, eight, just leave forms out of it, man! Let's just cut loose! Pro times! Let's dance in our pants, man! I'm afraid I don't hear anything worth dancing to. Now please be quiet! Now, phase inversion of the Tatiri Matrix combined with... Why, Dr. Crank, I've never seen you dance at all before. There's a whole side of me you've never seen, baby. And please, call me Bob. Again. Yeah, yeah, this is how we do it, doctor. Dance in our pants, we gotta take a chance on dance. <laughs> He's so smart, but also so good at partying. Is it perhaps the perfect combination? <laughs> This definitely fire. Perfect for melting things, reducing things to ash, or just warming them up a little. This definitely is a set of crazy. Well, Ray, you're carrying around a dead mouse in your pocket. I wish I could say that this. Wrong sticker. Huh. That doesn't work. Does everything look, like, crazy all of a sudden to you, Ralph? What? Those, those eyes! Those eyes! They found me! I am freaking the heck out! Now, uh, wait! Where are you going with that? 
I need that. I'm freaking out here, dude. Put the bag down, man. <laughs> And that guy really loved blowing into this bag. And if I know anything about physics, that means I can use the air inside to infl- That won't stick. Uh, that won't stick. Darn this dry land! I just need to get back to her. <sighs> she was a fine whale. But she'll make an even finer raft for me to return home to me home point. Yar, if only I could get to the cliffs where she's hidden and where she lies still. I swear on Davy Jones's locker, I shall return to my whale. Excuse me, uh, sir? Captain? Skip? First mate? Um, poop deck? Guy? Yeah! Tis man that felled the mighty beast, and twas I that was that man that killed that mighty whale. <laughs> At last, the whale, me hearties! She lies conquered on these very shores. Yar, I just need to get back to her. Okay. water. I bet all the ladies will want to get with me when they find out I'm a dude with heated water. Work. Just want a devil. Ha. Hmm. 
Wrong sticker. That was great. Mm. Wrong sticker. Unbarred. That won't stick. Can I say? All we need is to... Huh? Still helmet? That won't stick. After you. Uh, that won't stick. I don't care. You make me. Party. Nothing. It was worth a shot. Oh, that doesn't work. And that doesn't work. And that guy re- mm, Wrong sticker. Can't distract myself with irregular verb forms forever. It's time I face the truth. There's no point in digging up anymore. It's all downhill from here. The only way to make my mark in this world is to dig all the way down to the center of the earth. This tunnel shall be an eternal monument to my sad, sad feelings. Digging through, dig, digging, dig, dig, he digs, we dig. That doesn't work. I dug, I will ask. Oh, Suddenly, I, I don't feel so depressed. In fact, I feel, what's the opposite of depressed? Non-pressed, maybe. Maybe digging down isn't the answer. No, the right thing to do is to dig up. Yeah. Oh, I'm finally in. Hi oh, now. Where are you, Mr. Bunny? Time for a tea party. What the? We seem to have a security breach. Ronald is back. And he has dug himself a new tunnel. Uh, please set a guard down there to patrol it. No way am I going near her. I learned long ago to stay away from creepy little girls who are also ghosts. I walk this earth and can never die. If you want to kill me, don't even try. I'll stay here forever till I get what I need And that's to make a certain naughty bunny bleed No more than this, a tea party! Stupid bunny... I'm way cuter But do we ever postpone a tea party for me? No. But Bunny goes missing and everything stops for years until Bunny shows up. It's practically unbearable. Oh my god, did I just say that? I, I did. I just made a bear pun in my own head. I'm definitely losing my mind. When can we have tea? I'm so thirsty! Come on, Harry. Get a hold of yourself. Sure, there's rumors of the ghost of a dead little girl down here. Sure, you spent all last night watching horror movies. And sure, you're working the graveyard shift. The one shift most likely to have ghosts show up. But that doesn't mean there's actually ghosts down here. Maybe that noise was uh, a tea party. Yes, a delightful tea party. Nothing to be afraid of here. Nothing to fear, but fear it's... Ah, what was that? Ha! Huh. Huh. 
People say you only created me because you wanted a friend. A whole tea set all in one sticker? I don't mind if I do. Even before you created me and all exist after you. Is that tea? Mr. Bunny, you finally came. I was so, so angry. No, 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 not you again! It's all right, Harry. You've passed out once again. But don't worry. While you're unconscious, me, your subconscious, is going to regale you with stories that I make up as I go along and which don't really make sense. Uh, okay, so you're back at home, only it's not really your home, it's school. And you're writing an exam, only you haven't been to class all semester. You're going to fail, and... You're, you're naked? Ugh. Harry, what trouble have you gotten yourself into this time? Anyway, let that sink in for a while, cause soon I'll make things even weirder. Uh, this battery's dead. It can maybe be recharged, though. Uh, that's how batteries work, right? Hey, you! What's that smell? <laughs> ah, it's a giant dead whale. That... That would explain it. Ye found her, and she's as beautiful as the day I first laid eyes on her. <sighs> and as she was two days later when I killed her with me bare hands. By Poseidon's swim trunks, I'd wager all it'll take is a few stitches and some air, and mark my words, we'll have a raft. I... Okay. So the matter is closed! Tiara, I've never seen a more beautiful whale corpse in all me days. Now, all we need is to blow her up like an inflatable raft. I hate Mondays! Why am I even here? I just stopped my toe. Diving. Imagine, imagine sky. Dang, the traffic here is terrible. It feels like we've been stuck for days, weeks, years. Into a Get a drink of Clear! Damn it, nurse. Why aren't these working? This stubbed toe isn't going to electrocute itself. Where's my nurse? Where's my electricity? Man, that bunny was rude! I'm glad my imagination is free now, because that means 
I can imagine things I want to think about, like hamburgers or hot dogs or cake or candy or gum or sauces or sauces on hamburgers or sauces on gum or sauces on candy or gum flavored sauces. Man, I guess I'm still a little crazy, huh? This battery is now charged. Thank you, electricity. Is that a mouse? Is that a mouse? Listen, can I borrow that mouse? Where are we going? Should be able to be modified. I get breaks for lunch. Hey, what the heck? Don't leave me here. I had plans today, and they did not involve me sitting motionless on the ground. Okay, well, some of them did, but not all of them. Can I have that mouse yet? Oh my God. What? It's not like I had anything else going on. It's just Mr. Whiskers would love a mouse. Is this creepy? I'd really love that mouse, you know? I'll just keep following you until you give me that mouse, okay? Where are we going? Listen, I'll just follow you till you give me that mouse, okay? Can I have that mouse yet? It's just Mr. Whiskers would love a mouse. Is this creepy? I'd really love that mouse, you know? Well, here we are. Back at scenic, giant, stinky, split open dead whale point. Oh my gosh. She's so huge, so tremendous, to turn this whale into a stunning piece of taxidermic art would be my greatest challenge yet. I... I must try. There. Isn't she beautiful? She certainly is a beautiful, decaying, sewed-up whale. I know, right? Now all we need is some stuffing for her. Yar, tis not stuffing we be after. We need to turn old Whaley here into a raft. We need air, you scurvy land lovers. Of course, this all makes perfect sense. Yar, I've never seen a more beautiful whale corpse in all me days. Now, all we need is to blow. Huh. Well, air is cheaper than a whole whale-sized box of stuffing. Mm, wrong sticker. That won't stick. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Blowing into a bag is the only thing that calms me down sometimes, you know? We're almost there. We just need some juice, and we'll be in business. Uh, electricity? It'd be the final step, ye minnow. 
Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> Show ye how it's done. It's alive! Alive! <laughs> so we can leave now? No! Instead, let's kill it once more! Yeah! Sir, there's been another incident. What? Incidents are my least favorite thing right now. Ray has escaped us again. He's no longer even in the asylum. All right, this isn't working. We'll need to take a different approach. Something deadlier. Huh? I've got it! Uh, um, guys? Uh, fe fellow patients? I guess I'm alone then. In the wilderness. Finally, the beacon of civilization. A bar. I'm saved. News flash. A lunatic has just escaped from the Morrow Hill Mental Institution. He is considered armed and dangerous. The body of his girlfriend was discovered in their shared apartment earlier today. If you see this man, do not approach him. Report him to the authorities. Please call the authorities before posting about this on social media. What? Arlene's dead? I didn't kill her! What's going on? I gotta get back and see if she's alright. A dramatic manhunt is going on in the downtown core with air support from police helicopters involved in the search. We're assured that the suspect will be in custody very shortly. Further updates as the situation develops. Go! Yes, you are on the TV! Oh, wait till I tell about this on Facebook, bro! Oh, check it out, dude. I think I'm gonna blast the booze nap first, though. Where's the rest of your body, bro? How can you blast your quads when you got no quads left, bruh? <laughs> okay, I think I know my way from here. I take a right through the city outskirts, and then another right across the docks, and through downtown, I'll be home. Right, right, right. All the way to the right. Sometimes I find it frustrating that my vocal cords can only make a screeching, screaming sound. But then I think, man, there's so much nuance in each screech. So much art. I pour my soul into the subtle elements of a high-pitched scream, and in return, I give the world beauty. Such beauty. Also, I'm really good at aiming my poops at people's heads. What can I say? To be an artist is a calling. Leave 
Mr. Foxy alone, you creature of darkness! His soul is mine! Oh, Fox, you won't leave me like all the others. You understand me. You understand that the only way to be truly happy is to be truly sad. Soon, soon we shall seal our sorrow with a kiss. A kiss not of joy, but of darkness. There are people out there who don't freak out at the sight of this. Don't people watch movies anymore? Am I really celebrating my birthday alone on the docks again? Oh well, I suppose I'll just have to treat myself to another imaginary Three-story tuna-filled fish cake with extra caviar. It's a giant cake. That doesn't work. Attention, criminal citizen! I have you surrounded! There is no possible escape. I'll be moving in regular, predictable, circular search patterns to ensure that you cannot possibly escape. Aha! I know you're out there! Okay, okay, I can wake up some. I just pinch myself every two seconds to stay awake. Ouch! 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 Man, I want. Aha! I know you're out there. In now, Aline. I'm almost home. Attention, citizen! You are entering a restricted area! Um, I'm just wanting to leave. No citizens, except for Donna Grandiosa, may pass through this checkpoint until the suspect is in custody. What suspect? He's wanted for escaping a mental institution. And murder. Oh, um, well, uh, he sounds like he looks a lot different than I do. I appreciate the tip, citizen. Man, I just love authority. Oh, and working to enforce authority. And on my authority, nobody but Donna is getting through this roadblock. Yes! Hey, what's it take to get a ragamuffin palooka to mind his own P's and Q's nowadays? I ain't here to flap my gums. I'm here to drive Donna Grandiosa and only Donna Grandiosa. That rope doesn't look like any Donna Grandiosa I've ever seen. Bushwa. Hey, uh, can you take me to... Yeah, uh, beat it, wise guy. You're all balled up. This here rides for the great Donna Grandiosa. And you don't sound nothing like her. 
Oh, but, but I, I didn't even talk to you yet. What'd you have now, you flat tire? I may be weak in the peepers, but I got the ears of an eagle, see? Your pipes ain't got nothing on hers. Now get a wiggle on, you arsified owl. You bore me. This could be it. This could be where Donna Grandiosa is staying. <laughs> oh, to have her talk to me with that priceless mouth of hers. Of all the men in the world, why did I marry the audiophile? Do you have the suspect in custody, Joe? You told me you'd do this, Joe. I, I've got my job on the line here, buddy. You you wouldn't let a friend down, would you? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Joe, he said it'd be fine to take out his ex, but oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? I don't, I don't, I don't even know what she likes. So, oh my gosh, how do, how do dates even work? Uh, uh, does she does she like music or, or does she like dancing? Uh, may, maybe she maybe she likes video games. Uh, I, I like video games, but but, but I, I need to, I, I want to impress her and and I need to impress her. Oh my gosh. That won't stick. Uh, that won't stick. There he is. I know you're out there. Giant cake with fish on it. Mm, wrong sticker. XP5260 series helicopter complete with an oil of extreme engine chassis ready. Okay, okay, I can wake up some. Get him!
ठीक है Hey Donna, why not make a deal with the ma for a full mouth transplant without having the money to pay for it? That sounds like a great idea, Donna. That'll result in a wonderful singing career and certainly won't result in them breaking your legs and your lips when they find out you can't pay up, Donna. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Ah. Oh my goodness! The mob! Wow! A voice like that could break hearts! And glass! Probably at the same time. Uh, that won't stick! You cannot evade the XP5260 series helicopter complete with an oil and extreme engine chassis is running on a special mix of diesel and ditetrachloroethylene. It's a giant cake with... Hold tight to that image of the fossil again, didn't I? Hey, hey, Maria! Don't put your dirty ashes in there. That's my baby's home. Get away from me, Joe. I've got a restraining order on you. 150 feet, Joe. There. That's 151. Ugh, get a life, Joe. I've moved on, and you need to do the same, too. Maybe you should find someone to love more than you love stupid helicopters. I have, and you're dumping ash into his home. What? Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of how pretty my hair is going to be. Oh my gosh. Other people's emotional problems is so boring. Seriously, my hair is going to look fabulous. I am a sexy beast, and my date is one lucky gentleman. Damn. Alas, and woe to for neither of these erstwhile parents cares for me truly at this moment. Nay, they care only for what I can do for them. She and he both care only for revenge on the other. I, it is a powerful motive, but not as powerful as love. If only the man's love could be proven true! 
For while it is still tainted by revenge on the lady, it is hollow, a mere farce unseen by its players. I still seek for myself a home where I can truly be happy, cared for by someone untouched by baser motivations. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. Ah, she's so frustrating. She's like a helicopter with a busted rotor turbine. And a new one can't be ordered for three weeks because of their stupid inventory management software. And by that, I mean, ah, she's so frustrating. She is Donna. Now, if I had to list her three most important and recognizable traits, I, I guess it would be her voice, her hair, and that nice looking fur fox around her neck. Yep, those are the three things that scream, hey, I am definitely Donna. until he finds you! There we go! So fancy! Testing! Testing! Wow! This thing is dangerous! My hair is gone! I'm bald! And that kind of looks super hot, actually. Damn! My date really is a lucky man. He is gonna see some skin tonight. Oh, there she is. Donna. It's a giant... That doesn't work. Oh, there she is. Great idea! We can go to the opera! That'll show her I'm a classy man who appreciates the finer things in life. <laughs> oh, oh, like, like paying to have strangers sing at me. It's a giant cake with fish on it. I can't see this appear. I just love authority. Uh, that won't 
Don't stick. It's a mm, wrong sticker. Oh, Fox, you won't leave me like all the others. You understand me. Oh my god! Oh my god, I am so full! If I even think of fish, I'll just... I'll just explode! Quick, think of something else. Think of, uh, of rainbows, yes, uh, light as a rainbow floating over the ocean, ocean full of fish. <coughs> oh no, 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 don't think of fish, rainbows, beautiful rainbows. And now I die. I. Sleep, I swim, no more, no more must I suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous owners, but instead get eaten by a seagull. It has been a complicated day. Excuse me, I'm looking for my fish and I... Oh my gosh, that's him! You know that fish? He's my only true love and you stuffed him? And yet he's still alive! What can I say? I'm a very good taxidermist. You're... you're wonderful. So talented, so... so beautiful, so... awesome! You're like the best fish in the world! Only you're a human female. You're not so bad yourself, handsome. I never believed in love at first sight until this very second. This looks like that dead fox that Donna always wears. Although, come to think of it, I guess most dead foxes look pretty much the same. Wow. Before, I thought the only way to be happy was to feel sad. But now I see that it's possible to be happy by feeling rad, too. Man! I love emotional breakthroughs that rhyme. I'm in love, and that's so great. I never have felt more complete. Improvising songs about how I feel is actually pretty hard, but I can deal. Man, I just... Hey, uh, can you take me to... Oh, Donna, a pleasure as always. Your chariot awaits you. Uh, thanks for the ride. 
Finally home. I hope Arlene is back home and safe. Arlene, are you there? Arlene! He said such terrible things on the news. Oh, thank goodness. Arlene, you're, you're here. Arlene, I... You got it, boss. Arlene... Ah, sweet. Back here again. I love this place. Nothing bad ever happens here. It's almost like a dream. <laughs> wow! Someone had too big of an ego and too much time on their hands. Oh, and also a big rock. Ray! Ray, you've got to help me! Ray! Hey, it's that little dude from last time. How's it going, little guy? Ray, please help! <laughs> You're so high-spirited. I think I'll call you a name that reflects your energetic ways. Um, maybe... Ted? That's my name. That's the spirit. Ray, follow me! It's your only hope! Should have said that one out loud. Oh, for every two seconds. No! Keep your distance from them! Keep your distance from them! So close, Ray! And watch out behind you! Faster, Ray! Follow me! I know where we're going, I promise! Just stay close. Come on! Over here! This way, buddy! Here's the way out! Don't let them touch you, Ray! Run faster! Can I ever be a beggar man? Hello, c c c confuse a man's voice. Working. years of university and twenty years of study. this morning. Focus on the big performance tonight. Come on, just come on, come on, just a little more. Come with me if you want to live. Follow me, Ray. Like how creepy this has become. You dummy. You ran right to where I want you. This is almost too easy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, wake up. Wake up, buddy. I need your help.
This is your last chance. Come out, or we'll force you out. Huh? I ain't listen to him. If you don't do what he says, then he'll have failed at his job. And I'll have to eliminate him. And then, it'll be just us here. You don't want to be alone with me. Ah! Oh, jeez! Increase power to 11. It only goes to 10. I'm turning as hard as I can. I'm interested in results, Agent, not excuses. Did you not read my design document? This is not supposed to happen. Fix it, or I fix you, Agent. All right, don't think of where Arlene is. Don't think about how she's held in Omega Sector 33. Ooh, darn it. I need to think about something else. Not how Arlene's in Omega Sector... Ooh, darn it. Okay, man, you've got this. Just think about something else. I, I don't know, ponies. Ponies, ponies, ponies. Hey, I wonder. If there's any ponies in Omega Sector 33. Ooh, which is also where Arlene... Oh, darn. This has been a difficult day. Do I get paid overtime for this? Ugh, I wonder what Brad's making for dinner. You're fired. Everyone who is involved in this happening to me is fired. I'll help you, sir. Don't fire me. It's a rough economy for everyone. <laughs> Hey, man! Glad we could finally meet in real life! Whoa, you, you're like a slug. There's no time to talk about how hot my body is right now. Mm -mm. Our first order of business is to find Arlene. I'm sure she's alive. Let's go! Hey, up top, Ted! To this has been a difficult day. Do I get paid overtime? Hey, everyone. All right, don't think of where Arlene is. Don't think about how she's held in Omega Sector 33. Oh, darn it. I need to think about something else. Not how Arlene's in Omega Sector. Oh, darn it. Okay, man, you've got this. Just think about something else. I don't know. Ponies. Ponies, ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this place again. Oh, hello. Are you the new supervisor? I, um, yes. Uh, carry on. Okay. Brains are what's required. That means my Please don't ask about the beach from last week. Please don't ask about the beach from last week. Uh, I was enjoying my nap. It's a living. A living dead, come to think of it. Ah, I'm a funny man. Okay. You know, he is pretty cute. <laughs> Too bad he's already dead. I could never bring a zombie home to mom and dad. They've got zombie racisms. Where? I love teacher. Teacher. Pretty. Teacher. Nice. Want give teacher presents. Sorry. You should have got my nurse. <laughs> <laughs> now pick up the gun and shoot the target. He loves me. That sexy god will never love me like this with my big old bald spot. 
Ah, my broken heart. Ah, it hurts. He loves That won't stick. He loves me not. How does everyone want to get so close to my door? It's just a regular old door. Though I can see why they hired me. People are always trying to make their way through my rad door. Hey! Not so close, buddy. Back it off. Okay, handsome. Uh, that won't stick. I was the one born with the singing talent, but everyone loves him because he made it to the radio first. I could show them what real rock and roll sounds like. That won't stick. Ah, chip. This whole thing is a setup. I was shot down by the government because I wouldn't let them build a military base on the North Pole. I'm not destroying the economy, I said. I'm just giving toys to all the good little girls and boys. But no, they shoot me down and lock me up here. Naughty, naughty, naughty. If I could only get Rudolph back, I could escape and take my revenge! Ho ho ho! No! A certain plumber's on my nice list this year. Once I escape through this naughty pipe, that is. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Wrong sticker. Ha. Ha. Oh, for me? That's adorable. But I need you to shoot the gun, sweetie. That's another shot for you. Ooh, owie. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> This is what death is like. Not bad so far, except I can't move. <sighs> Clearly, further research is warranted. This worst thing ever happened. I, including death and zombification, in that. I was the one born. dead to train them as soldiers isn't the most ethical idea. Note to self, learn what ethics are. Parents, no, judge, 
kiss better when lips cold. <laughs> so brisk and refreshing. Sexism? Sexy God. And I'm working for the I happy. I have relationship. First girlfriend. That won't stick. That doesn't work. That won't stick. I'm 99% certain that if we can get this down, the General Handsome might be impressed with me. Who would have thought that such a handsome general would have such an appropriate last name? If he'd been a doctor, he'd be Dr. Handsome. Nice! 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 First, I lose my teeth. Now, I lose my life and become a zombie? Oh well, I will put my feelings in the song. There's a birth I'd like to win. Two things considered, I think I probably should have kept my nursing job. I don't think this choir pays as well. Also, I'm a zombie, so there's that too. Someone came in a little late on the... Of course. I end up being a zombie and my brother gets off scot-free. Of course. Oh, I'm gonna eat his brain so hard. I bet that won't stick. Kind of like someone came in a little... So many interesting things around me. This will definitely keep me awake for a... Oh no! Insta-sleep strikes again! What am I gonna do now? Uh, suppose I could take up beatboxing. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Work. Finally, a guitar. I saw a damn old label in my name. Every time who did the way. Like the very songs of the gods themselves, music itself just leveled up. I saw a damn old label. No. No, 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 no! This is entirely wrong! Ah! The only way to deal with this is to pull out my own hair! I don't see them all labels in my day. Every time we get the limbs, girl. Whatever! I got lots of extra hair anyway. It grows out of me for free! Honestly, man, it's all over the place. Come on, Lanker. Finally, I have something my brother doesn't have. A beautiful singing voice. He's the new player to now, baby. My bald spot! It's fixed! I'm fixed! Oh, I'm coming for you, my love! 
Oh, happiness. This is what love feels like. Must be the phone. Oh, happiness. Oh. The bad guy? My family is totally going to wonder why I'm late for dinner. Wow, Area 99. This place is filled with all sorts of things. Uh, that won't stick. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. Pipe bot engaged. Pipe bot ready to stand around with pipes on head. Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep. Living dead to the big this is a terrible strain on my neck. And also my spine. All my bones, basically. I knew I should have asked to get paid in advance. And also for a different job. Why did I make this? When my nuclear bomb-proof hat is complete, we need no longer worry about nuclear war. At least as far as our headwear is concerned. Plus, the hat has the added benefit of protecting us from a bomb, too. Our body will still get vaporized, but nevertheless, progress! Science! Doesn't work. That doesn't work. I ever got so close as to touch that guy. What a pig. Keep it up, ladies. Call me sexist. But women are innately great at wiretapping phone conversations due to their female ways. That is sexist, General. That is terrible, and you are terrible. Ha! Come on, I think he's kind of cute. I've seen some I hate my job, and I hate my boss. This guy is the biggest jerk I've ever met. I need to tell him the truth, but I'm worried what might happen. Why did I let this happen? Why am I so afraid to share the truth? Oh. Good boy.
my air without it. But really enjoying my neck. That is it, General. Just a little more and you can seal the deal. Maybe she likes reading. I should tell her I like reading too. Like books and junk. How much longer is this gonna take? Secret. Child. Mm, I love that mustache he's got. Ooh, and his little uniform, too. It's against my better judgment, but I can't stop flirting with this guy. I mean, we are going to have to work on his sexism, but that can be a project for later. That doesn't work. I... I think I love you. I think I love you. General, you're a jerk. You need to know a few things. One, you're a pig. Two, I should never have gotten involved with you. And three, this baby is yours, idiot! What? No, um, that could be anybody's baby. Also, I could be fired if I get involved with an employee, so I never would have. You did. You did three times in one night, General. Heh. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a ridiculous accusation. Find something else to go with. I'm a baby genius. I learned about English inside the womb. Life is good. I also learned about wombs. Thank goodness for wireless internet. The only way that baby could be mine is if sexual congress can result in human offspring. <laughs> and the very idea is ridiculous. Ridiculous! Family man. Oh, pretty good. I can't I believe I ever got so close as to touch that guy. What a pig. If I get with him, I'm gonna practice safe sex. Which is a cool way of saying I don't want no babies messing up my awesome lifestyle. Babies are for chumps who are tired of partying. It's a pregnant belly. Yeah, my life has been strange lately. It's a pregnant... Oh my god, I'm pregnant? All of a sudden? How is this possible? It's definitely your baby now, General. I didn't know biology worked this way. Why, oh, why did I sleep through sex ed classes? This is exciting, though. Chasing up your Really? Now there's a birth I'd like to witness. The music itself. Beep, beep. Yay, the miracle of childbirth. I feel so in touch with the life force growing within me. I can't wait to give birth and push this baby out of my... Wait a minute. I like a family man. This is my free. We'll still get out. This, this womb isn't as nice. It's so prickly and gross. And it smells like whiskey and aftershave! <laughs> oh, this baby's mouth sounds like an... Error 1000! Cannot self-terminate! That won't stick. Oh, my iPad. Hmm, wrong sticker. Hmm, wrong sticker. Oh, this that doesn't work. Uh, that won't stick.
Radiation alert? What? I, I can barely move. Wh where? Wh what? I've seen something. This sleep strikes again. Excuse me! <laughs> oh, happiness. There is no explode! Medical school. I was planning to drink coffee before this fish had swinging us. <gasps> Dear Mental Diary, I've seen some. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone! If you. Oh, if I put this on an agent's face, they'll think he's me. Situation is definitely on my naughty list. How long can reindeer breathe water? I don't want to find out. Um, this air is too thick to breathe comfortably. Uh, I would prefer to be somewhere else now. Please? That doesn't work. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your body because I could totally use one right about now. You know what, dude? I've seen some. <laughs> I took the secret to escaping a water trap to my grave, and here it is. As a scientist, nobody is more surprised uh, than me that my brain is still alive and functioning. <laughs> Dang, y'all! Just hope he can even understand. Four score and twenty years ago, I was dug up and put into a jar. May I be the first to say, what the heck, dudes? Santa's turn to shout out in glee. You'll go down in history. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I love you, you little weirdo. <laughs> I took the secret. <laughs> Christmas is saved! And by Christmas, Santa means my favorite reindeer. By my favorite reindeer, Santa means Rudolph. Santa's favorite reindeer isn't named Christmas. Though that would be a good idea, actually. Huh. Um, this is pretty good, I guess. I mean, I prefer to breathe air over water. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, this air is pretty okay.
success! Explosion now possible! This is awesome! Beep! If there's more to life than exploding, I don't want to know about it. Remember the sweet, beautiful songs of my youth, a single note of which would bring a tear of joy to your eye. Yes! Ah, laddie, that's the music I've been waiting to hear. The beats, they're so tight. Ah, it's like I'm dreaming in stereo somehow. Can't stop grooving. I must shake my booty. Oh, thank goodness. I, I finally found you. A and you look so happy. Pretty okay. All sorts of me. It's a trap, Ray. Get out of here. The man is clinically insane. He's planning to... Uh, finally, the two of you have made it. Well, now that I've got everyone here, right where I want them, let's find out what this button does. Sorry, the man. I'm afraid I can't do that. Mother, engage the death arm, please. There's a good boy. A little politeness never hurt anyone. 
I swear I will hurt the agent that downloaded your engrams to this mainframe. What was that, dearie? Nothing, Mom. Excellent. Target the Earth. I'm sorry, sweetie, but I'll need a more specific target. I don't know any of those idiots down there. I just do third and main. That's an address, right? Targeting. Huh. Now to have a little fun. sure what the point of this giant pink hand is. It sure is fun messing with people. So much power. Mother, take a note, please. I must make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by that, I mean hands that don't belong to me. You were always such a polite young man. Um, sir, what do we do with Ray now that we've sucked the, uh, thing out of his head? That actually sounds crazy. Is this job crazy? This job is awesome. I don't care what you do with him. Dump him into space. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Wait, wait! Are you supposed to hold your breath when you go into space? Or are you supposed to exhale as hard as you can? I don't know. Both? Wait! That doesn't help me! Anyway, that brings us back to the present. If there were a moral to my life, I guess it'd be... A lot of things can happen when you get hit on the head. And it turns out one of them is that you can end up dying in space. The end. No way. This is not how the story ends. The man is only going to win over my dead body. And I'm not dead yet! in my own diabolical contraption? Why does irony even have to be a thing? Hey, little dude, you've got to save Ray. So hurry. All right, Arlene, keep it together. You just told the tentacle monster to go save your boyfriend, which is basically all you can do. Let's just hope he's on my side. And let's just hope he can move around on those tentacles. And let's just hope he can even understand the words I'm speaking. All aliens speak English, right? That's a thing, right? How'd this happen? How do these crazy things keep happening? Honestly, sometimes I feel like there's a higher power in the universe. And it's like controlling other people's bodies and making them do things that mess up my plans. Humans are pretty terrible at breathing in space. Hey, I know you're here somewhere. You and that nice fleshy brain that I just got warmed up the way I like. Everyone else's head smells funny. Like warm socks. I like Ray's. It was nice. Ray! Ray, it's you! Yes, yes, you have a nice face, but I'm here to rescue you!
Yes, hello. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get to the door. These old data structures don't download into a robotic inflatable body like they used to. Are you the delivery boy with my robot farmer's choice circuitry ointment? Smell scan engaging. What in tarnation? You're just one of the neighborhood kids, aren't you? Well, run along. My little the man is busy with his little destroy the world science project. Be a dear and try again after dinner, okay? I've got to find some circuit ointment. But where? Ah, sweet, delicious air. Normally I'd prefer my air without a taste, but beggars can't be choosers. Jump! Jump! Beep! Beep! Boop! Beep! TV robots into most secrets. I like TV. Yeah. Computers, are you tired of circuits that don't have ointment on them when you download your consciousness into a robot body? Try Farmer's Choice Circuitry Ointment. It's the best for this usage case. Farmer's Choice is a real product. Please stop calling us to ask if we are real. Hey, this antenna is still a sticker. There might be other places I could use it. Um, uh, here's some, um, circuit ointment? Thank you, dearie, thank you. This'll be just the thing for my circuits which are not programmed to feel pain. Ted! Ray! Thanks for saving me, buddy. Oh, you, um, want to get back inside my head? I mean, we need to save Arlene, but if you're fine out here, that's cool. We could split up and work as a team, and, and I, I'm totally down with nah, that. Nah, it's kind of chilly here. Plus, I'm pretty sure I left the water running in there, so... Wait, what? <laughs> now, dearie, I'm sorry the man is being such a bad host. Do you want to see some pictures of him when he was a baby? Um, is there a right answer here? Look, here's one where he's learning to go potty. Look at that smile. He's happy because he made a poop come out. Hey, how come the door's locked? How come I can hear you talking about poops? says dogs are man's best friend. I'm the man's best friend. 
And this is how he repays me for years of loyal service? By putting my aquarium in front of a TV and calling it a day? And not even putting a good story on? I want some romance. Nice. Laura, you know I can't kiss you because I'm you from the future! <gasps> but I was about to tell you that I'm you from the past! Of course! It all makes perfect sense! Oh! Mm. <laughs> oh, wow! That reminds me of the time I got to chew on meat for hours. Oh, I even got to go to a dance. This is a... This is an old turtle's memory. One time when he got to sink his teeth into a... Wait, what is that? Even care. I'm gonna be the first man to nap and stop. Dude, I don't even care. of the Starship D-20, which as you all know is a starship shaped like a 20-sided die. It's the most efficient shapes for warp field dynamics. D-20's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to be a television tie-in to the RPG game you could buy to play at home right now. me back. The man and I used to play Space RPG 2000 all the time when we were kids. We had our own uniforms, and he even made a, a functioning phase inverter tachyon threshold emitter. Or at least we assumed it was functioning. We never figured out what it was supposed to do. Look at this crazy die. Well, if this die could talk, I bet it would tell a few increasingly implausible stories. Okay, I'm thinking. Television is an excellent thing to base your life around.
Captain. I say, being put in charge of this important battle blaster certainly was a stroke of luck. Well done, old Bean. And yet, all is not well in my world, for there is a hunger within me that remains unsated. I suppose it could be sated with donuts? Yes. Uh, that won't stick. I'll be able to... This is... That won't stick. Oh, that doesn't work. I say, being put in charge of this important... Oh, what is Could you something fancy? And yet all I have here are these stupid cans of tomato sauce. And they are all used up. Pasta output setting, ten people. Pasta output, subpar. Ha, ha, ha. Just kidding. Pasta output nominal. This is the biggest and longest pile of pasta I've ever seen. And the biggest I've ever converted into sticker format and put in my inventory, too. It's been a day of new experiences. Pasta output setting, 10,000 people. Pasta output extreme, hmm, this seems like a lot of people. But who am I to argue with the pasta output setting? Uh, that won't stick. All right, Arlene, keep it together. You just told the tentacle monster to go save your boyfriend, which is basically all you can do. Terminal connection with Mother Brain stable. Oh, darn, but there's no anecdotes there. That can't be right. Oh, dear. I just wish I understood computers better. I have my mom's brain uploaded into a computer. I'm gonna add in a manual override for not sharing embarrassing baby photos. No. Next time I have my mom's brain uploaded into a computer, I'm going to say, wait, no. That's a terrible idea. Let's not upload my mom's brain into a computer.
Missing anecdote number 55253. Embarrassing story not found. Perhaps you would like a nice cup of tea instead? I just adore a nice cup of tea. Now I've got an empty... This is an old... Oh, that's Hungry Henry, the man's pet turtle. One day I went to wake up my little man, and it turns out he'd been sleeping with his mouth open, and Henry had chomped down on his tongue. That turtle would just not let go. Anyway, it was the morning of prom, so we had to go to prom with this turtle hanging off of his tongue. Every word he said sounded just like... I could just tell all the women wanted to be his steady. Mother, you promised you'd stop telling strangers that story. She's not a stranger anymore. She's a friend, the boy. I'm the man now, Mother. God, can't you get anything right? <sighs> oh, my goodness. This photo takes me back. The man used to love this show and the play-at-home game. Why, one time he made himself a little costume, complete with a phaser reverter tacky something. I knew he loved his costume, but was shy about it. So when prom came, I hid all his other clothes, and he wore his uniform to prom. I liked making little surprises for him like that. Mother, it was a phase inverter tachyon threshold emitter. Not a phaser reverter. They're like two completely different things, Mom. That won't stick. That won't stick. That won't stick. I can't believe the man saved my mind for all eternity. But then the only thing he gives me to do is watch boring TV shows. TV I am TV Robot's intermost secrets. I like TV! Uh, that won't stick. Captain Squishy, how will we ever get to the picnic now? No worries, Mr. Worrywart. We have Squishy powers on our side. Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I keep forgetting about those. Oh, yeah, let's use Squishy powers. Oh, wow! Captain Squishy looks just like the toy I made for the man some 30 years ago. Of course, he was just the boy then. But he loved that doll to bits. <laughs> hey, this teddy bear is named Poopy. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I really don't want to touch it. That won't stick. Oh, dearie, would you look at this photo? Why, when the man was just a wee lad, he would not go to the bathroom. He was afraid he'd fall in the toilet. But then when this doll appeared, he'd spend all his time in there. He named his doll Poopy. Did you know that? He was such a cute kid, sitting on the toilet every chance he got. Excuse me, those aren't personal stories. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I am just a big dummy. 
Staying up here all the time, cleaning up after you, ensuring optimum efficiency of this space station? I'm just a big dummy. You show embarrassing photos to strange women. You'd prefer it if I didn't? You'd prefer it if I never did it again? Yes! Well, I'm not willing to do that. Your photos are adorable, and I will share them until the day I die. Well then, I wish you'd hurry that up. Oh, you'd say such a thing? You'd wish that your only mother who brought you into this world would die? Ah, uh, come on, Mom. No, you said it. Far be it for me to stand in the way of my son's wishes. Self-destruct initiated. 120 seconds remaining. Ah, uh, come on, Mom. Stop goofing around. 117 seconds remaining. Mom! 115 seconds remaining. Darn it! Hey, you're safe! Yeah? I'm not, like, dumb. I can escape as good as y'all. I'm really glad, sweetie. That's the good news. The bad news is that this station will explode in less than two minutes. Self-destruct. We could call my friends for a ride. If only we had an intergalactic ultraphone. And let me guess, those aren't available on Earth. Nope. Wait, I've got a great idea. What if I just think about an intergalactic ultraphone, then you could grab it out of my thoughts? Whoa. That's just crazy enough to work. 30, 29, 28. Doesn't work. That won't stand. Eight, seven. This is the uh, six. No, that sure doesn't work. It's no problem for me to blow myself up. You see, my only son doesn't care about all I do for him. So obviously, I am unloved and uncared for. I'll be dead in ninety, eighty-nine, eighty-eight. Okay, here goes. Well, stick some stuff in there. Maybe it'll turn into a phone. Okay, we got the phone. Now we just need to fire it into space. What? Uh, we need to fire it into space? And you're just mentioning this now? I'm sorry, I thought it was obvious. You know of any intergalactic ultra phones that work differently? Eight, seven, six. Oh, sure, it's no problem for me to blow myself up. You see, my only son doesn't care about all I do for him. So obviously, I am unloved enough. Nah, this is no big deal. I'm sure there's a backup of me somewhere. T8. Why did I put the self-destruct under computer control? And why did I digitize my mother's brain and put it into a computer? Why did I make this series of crazy choices? Ten. Nine. Sure, I'll be sad to be dead. But will that sorrow compare with that of having a son that doesn't care for me? Hello, Intergalactic Space Cab Service. Where can I pick you up? Coordinates 352 Mark 452 Mark 452 Cedar Prime Sector. Whoa, whoa, is that Earth? There'll be an extra cleaning charge of 8,000 buckazoids to get there, buddy. It's fine. Can you step on it, please? No problem. We'll be there in, um, best estimate I can give you is 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Hey, nine, uh, are these guys eight, usually, seven, um, reliable? Six, five, Kinda. four, three, two, one, zero point five, zero point four, zero point three. You know what? I don't think you actually care about me at all. I think you might actually be a jerk. We're headed to Earth. Get us out of here. You got it, buddy. Zero point two. Zero point one. Real talk, the man. 
You make me wish I never got my consciousness downloaded into a space station computer. But now, as I look back on my life, I have this many regrets. Zero. I was really screaming to get you guys to stop screaming. Anyway, here we are. Enjoy the rest of your evening, folks. Well, um, I guess this is it. Thanks for saving me, guys. I can go back to my home planet now. It's pretty cool there. Every night is buy one, get one free pizza night. Every night? We, um, eat a lot of pizza. This was, uh, memorable. Nah, uh uh We're hugging this out. Meter's running, buddy. Oh, jeez, right. Uh, okay, stay cool, you guys. Where to? Planet Spacetopia, by way of Planet Smooch Time. Oh, sweet, I love Planet Smoochy Times. Even the traffic cops are friendly there. A little too friendly now that I think about it. That? Oh, that was a really long day. You read my mind. Really? to send you a quick note just to let you know I really had a great time hanging out. Both on your planet and particularly in your bot. Both were not nearly as dirty as I've been told to expect. We had fun, didn't we? Let's do it again sometime. Come visit me as soon as your people invent interstellar travel, okay? Peace out. Oh, oh, one more thing. I did a quick check when I got here, and uh, I may have left a little something inside your head at some point. It's no big deal. And I know you'll be able to take really good care of it. Daddy? Arlene! <laughs>